In my last video, I was talking about how you can create a custom WooCommerce API endpoint to allow your customers to grab custom data. And as part of that, I touched on disabling parts of the REST API. I'm gonna dig into that topic a bit more today and talk about the disable REST API plugin that I have installed here. I'll include a link to this plugin in the blog post that accompanies this video. But essentially what this allows us to do is control who has access to the REST API on your WooCommerce store based upon, firstly, if they're logged in, then their user role. So let's take a look at the settings for this plugin. So up here we have the user role that could be unauthenticated or they could have one of the many roles that are on the site. So let's look at administrator for an example. If I'm logged in as an administrator on the site, I'm allowed full REST API access. If I'm not authenticated, then I've restricted all access. So if you're not logged into the site, none of my REST APIs are available to you. And as you can see, there are many endpoints. So let's talk about a role that I want to give certain accesses to. So the customer role, for example, I want a customer to be able to access the REST API and get their own orders. That's the code I created last week. So for this particular customer, I've restricted a lot of the REST API. I'm allowing them to log in using simple JWT. There's a video about that coming up on Friday. And I've also granularly allowed them to list their own orders. So that's the endpoint I created last week. So using this plugin, we can say, yes, you've got no access, you've got full access, or we can give granular access to certain endpoints. I'm a big believer in restricting access and giving only access to the tools you need to do the job. So I don't want anybody who's not authenticated hitting the endpoints on my website. This opens you up for a couple of things. People can grab your data for starters, but people can just pound against those REST APIs and potentially do a denial of service if they're not logged in. So I restrict access to that and then only grant access to customers or to administrators who've got full access. So if you need help creating granular access to your REST APIs, why don't you get in touch? Go to neilmatthews.com and click on the work with me button.